I were to see her, she would come to me, seeking her own worth. She would wake in the middle of the night, makeup smeared from having slept face down, and passing out on the couch after a long afternoon of heavy drinking at home, alone, expecting to impress some angel from her dreams who had never appeared, too strung out to return her text messages, or already in the arms of another abused and equally confused glory, seeking her own worth. Desperate to turn two into one, desperate to turn one into two. And like an amateur glass blower, she would melt the broken pieces of the mirror she had shattered in denial of her own makeup smear reflection, shaping the shattered pieces of herself into an uneven orb like mold, doubtlessly believing that she had all the insight of the gypsy she had always seen herself as being, while she stares into her makeshift crystal ball, seeking her own worth. And in it, she would but barely see Red fields, black sands, and an endless sea A place she had traveled through once, past once, and around once Carefully avoiding the place that is me And through my bleary bloodshot eyes After waking in the middle of the night After a long afternoon of heavy drinking at home, alone Expecting her to materialize from my dreams, I would see her in the after image she left behind when once she lay to rest in these fields when weary, fingers intertwined in the weak grass nude, a thing of beauty, never needing any makeup. For if I were to see her, it would be her mirage, for these fields have died in my sleep. The beach has turned to rock and desert sands, and long since so has the sea. Gone is the place that was once me, for time is woe, and so are we. But if I were to see her, she would knock at my window, makeshift crystal ball in hand, makeup smeared from having wept too long, and regret for having journeyed metal miles past the place she had always wanted to be. Red fields, black sands, and an endless sea. Desperate to turn two into one. Desperate to turn one into two. And were I not but an after image, too faint to be corporeal enough any longer, to wipe her face of tears and confusion with the hem of one tattered suit sleeve, I would. And like an expert glass blower, I'd melt all the shattered pieces of herself back together, with all the insight of a man in the afterlife who would never seek mortality again. Shaping the glass into a flawless reflection of the mirage were I to see it. Fingers intertwined in the wheat grass nude. The angel in herself she never saw. But time is woe and so are we. Too faint to touch the mirage of me. Gone are the sands and gone are the sea. And I can no longer tell you your worth.